Minister, at a time of crisis, you have yet to fail us in coming up with some things to put more hardship on people in Ireland. I listened last week to some of the people that got airtime talking about burning wet turf. That's the same as you pouring the pot of tea into the car and hopefully that your car would run on it. That's the type of nonsense that you've got airtime on. Then we heard mining turf. That's as much as you knew about turf. That's as much as you know about poverty. I spoke last week of people that were counting the briquettes in a bale of briquettes, which there is 22. And they were putting so many aside so they could heat their house because of how they could afford it. Or heat the water because they have no other supply. But the biggest polluter in this country on fuels is the local authority. The biggest polluters in this country when it comes to the sewerage in our waterways is the local authority. And who do you help all the time? You pump money into the local authorities, and who do you ask if they want to build their own house in, 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 in Limerick and in the counties? You charge six and seven thousand to build on lands that they might be left to them or they have land at home. Six and seven thousand. And they're supplying their own water and their own storage. But if they do something wrong, you find them. But yet, your government and the local authorities in this country are the biggest polluters in the country. And you're doing nothing about it. Again, who do you target? The people in the counties that don't have any infrastructure like gas lines. You told the people in Ireland that you were giving them 200 euros off an ESB bill. Why don't you stand up here and tell them the truth? You gave them 200 euros less 23% VAT, which goes back into your own pockets. That's the truth. You couldn't even tell them the truth about what you were going to give them off at the escalating prices. Everything that you seem to do is flawed, and everything you do is against people outside the towns and cities in, in, outside of Dublin. That's what you do, because you're a city-based cabinet. 80% of your cabinet is city-based. You don't understand outside of Dublin. You don't understand no transport, no storage, no proper water supplies. It's a failure of your government and the previous government because we have no alternatives. If you want people to change for the environment, give us the alternatives. Thank you.